To make this beautiful protea, you're going to need a soft cover book. This book has 373 pages, so anything around 350 would be perfect because you're going to need some extra pages at the end to make the leaves. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and rip off the front cover and the back cover. And then you're going to take the top right and the top left and form a triangle. That is step one. Step two is then you're going to go ahead and take this triangle and bring it up. And then you're going to fold that probably about a centimeter away from the gutter. You want to leave this space here because when you get into the book and it starts to get really, really thick, it would be too hard to get it all the way in and then all the part of your flower is going to become uneven. You can also just go ahead and do it right here where the text starts. That's a really good way to get a nice, perfect measure every time. So the way I like to do this is totally up to you. Is like I like to go through and make all my triangles first. I just think it's easier and then I go back and, and do that second part of the fold. But that's totally up to you. While I'm doing this, it would be a great time for you to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the weekly tutorials. And if you wouldn't mind commenting below on what you did with your protea, I would love to know. So I wasn't really sure what a protea was in the beginning. Yes, that is my dog in the background. I think she's whining. So a protea is the national flower of South Africa. It's also known as a sugar bush. So I'm just, I was just kind of curious, so I went ahead and looked that up. So let me go ahead and show you that second part of the fold again. So after you've done your triangles, go ahead and smush them down. You're going to take the top part of the triangle and bring it up. Top part of the triangle and bring it up. And then it gets a lot easier here because I'm just going to do it right to where the beginning of the text is. That just makes it nice and even. And as you see, you just kind of get into a rhythm of this. And it goes together pretty quickly. I just folded 16 pages very quickly. And if any of them aren't even, you can go back because here I didn't have the measurement of the text. So I just go ahead and make sure everything is even, like so. And you can already see the beginning of the protea being formed right here. And then at the end, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to go ahead and make the leaves and gather these into every five into the leaf part. And that's where the beautiful protea will really take form. So I will continue to do the folding. And then we will meet back to show you the last step of making the leaves, which just makes this whole thing pop. So I'm about halfway through at this point, and you can see now, I just want to show you, as you're doing this, it's going to start to get a little bit harder because you have all this bulk here. And this is the reason why we weren't folding all the way into the gutter, is because you would have gotten too smushed at this point. But you just keep on going, as you can see half of the protea is already made. This is what the part will look like before you add the leaves. So this is just going to be the center part of the flower. 
So once so you folded the entire book, I did 310 pages. And then you're going to rip off the extra. You want to make sure that you keep enough pages at the end to make your leaves. If you didn't, you can just use another book. That's totally fine, too. Use a little bit of your strength. Oops. And then what you're going to do before you make your leaves is you're going to use hot glue right here. So that this round, so that this becomes more round. So kind of crease this right here. And then you'll use hot glue. And you want to use plenty right there. And then go ahead and bend it. That didn't quite work for me. I don't think it was quite hot enough, so I will... That wasn't hot enough. So I will let that heat up a little bit more and then we will hot glue it. Okay, now this is heated up more, so let's go ahead and try that again. Try to. Just hold that for a few seconds. A lot better that time. And so once you've done that, you can start to see the inside of the flower. I'm going to add a little bit more on this side. You really want this to be a generous amount of glue. Once you've done this, the fun part starts because then you'll start to see your flower bloom. And then you're going to take your extra pages, and I'll show you how to make the leaf. So to make the leaf, you're going to go, and this doesn't actually matter. So go ahead and fold your page in half. I like to call this the hot dog fold. See how that's long? Versus that would be a hamburger fold. And then you're going to fold it again, just because you want that center crease. Then you're going to take the bottom left and bring it to the center. Actually, that was the bottom right, but you get the idea. And then go ahead and do it on the other side. And then you're going to go ahead and fold that in half like so. Then you're going to go ahead and take your white glue and every five, so one, two, three, four, five, every five, you're gonna go ahead and glue that in. And it's up to you how tall you want your leaves. I like to do it right to where the edge of that was. I just think it looks neater that way and it's best. And then you're gonna use your white glue and glue that into place. 
Another nice thing about using it going to where the edge of where your fold was is that you'll it's an easy way to make sure that you're the same on every single leaf. And glue that in like so. And that's your first leaf. Let me show you that fold once more. Fold this in half. Fold this in half again. And then fold that little triangle to the center. Fold this triangle to the center. Fold in half. And there you have it. Then we'll count another five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will add plenty of glue. And glue into place. Making sure I go right to where that triangle folds in. And so you can really see it start to take form. I think that's just beautiful. So I'm going to continue making my leaves and then folding. And the way that you figure out how many extra pages you'll need is you'll take it whatever total you did and divide by five since we're doing it every five and that will tell you how many extra pages you'll need again if you don't have enough of the original book that's not a problem at all you could use a contrasting color if you prefer or try to find a a book with similar co um, coloring of the white totally up to you just depends on the look you want but look how pretty that's going to be so i'm about halfway through with the leaves and this is how the protea looks right now. I am using these craft clips that I got from the dollar store just to hold the glue in place well, until it dries. So I did want to give you that little helpful tip. And also down here, you want to make sure, I don't know if you can tell here, this is laying flat like it should, but this one's sticking out a little bit. So be careful of that because you want it to look nice from all angles. But this is what we have so far. So at the end, if you don't have the five and five, just divide it up evenly. So I have eight here, so I'm going to just do four and four. That's totally fine. Just keep that in mind if when you fold it, it wasn't easily um, divided by five. It's not a big deal because you can just fix it right here. So one, two, three, four. last one. So excited to show you the final result here in just a second. Bring that down a smidgen. It does get a little bit smushy at the end. So this is finished for the most part. Now I don't like here where the um, book got kind of combined. I don't really like exactly how that came out right there. And then if you want, let me just pinch that for a second. If you want to put something right in the middle of your protea, you're welcome to do that just to give it a little pop. Uh, many proteas are red, so if you just want to do like a little bit of red, maybe like a a red button or a red bead right there might be pretty. Also, if you want, you can stick a barbecue, a wooden barbecue dowel right here if you want to put this to have so that it has a stem. But that's totally up to you as well. 
just to give you some ideas of what that would look like. So you could take a hot glue and do a little red bead right there. You could do a very small little bead. You could do a little piece of wood. It just depends on really the look you're looking for. You could do a little red thing there. That's what it would look like if you did it in gold, green, blue. So it's really up to you what you want to do. Or I think it's just beautiful leaving it plain. So happy folding.